Welcome to Urban Wood. This is where we do things from scratch, but it takes a team and a vision to actually pull it off. We take every ingredient serious, but yet in a relaxed way. A great piece of meat is already great. It's our job just to enhance it. We do everything in-house. It's such a labor of love to do this the way that we've always wanted to. People are over our backs yelling about budgets and controlling costs. Here, we spend more to give more, and that's what it's all about. Let's talk chicken. You often hear, don't order the chicken in the restaurant because I can make it at home. I don't think you can make this chicken at home, but if you want to try, follow me on this adventure. First, it starts with the best chicken possible, like this one I get from Pasture Bird. They're free range, amazing, well fed. I debone the chicken, then I put it in a brine for a day and a half. Pat her dry, stuff some herbe de Provence underneath the skin. Let it air dry for two whole days in the refrigerator, letting that fan really dry out that fatty, fatty skin. Then we cook it in the wood fire oven, nice and hot, skin side down. As that's cooking, I'm gonna make a nice little citrus salsa verde. I take the segments from the lemon, the juice from the lemon, a little bit of pickled mustard seed, tarragon, parsley, chives, a little bit of garlic, stir that together with extra virgin olive oil, pull the chicken out of the wood fire oven, take a little bit of that kale, throw it right into that pan with all that chicken drippings in there. Now it's time to plate. It's clean, it's refreshing, and the best chicken you'll ever eat. Every single bite is moist, crispy, and bright. Let's talk about the Branzino, another one of the most popular dishes we have here at Urban Wood. We serve about 50 of these a night. It all starts with slicing the speck, aligning them just right, stuffing the body cavity with Castle Breton olives, lemon segments, a lot of herbs, rolling them up just absolutely perfect. Then we sear the speck all the way around the Branzino. To keep the moistness in the Branzino, I make the speck extremely crispy. We use Castle Breton olives, extra virgin olive oil, some herbs, and Calabrian chilies to make this amazing tapenade. We're not overpowering the Branzino, we're just enhancing it. We have the salty speck, the briny olive, and a little bit of the heat from the Calabrian chilies. It's a surf and turf like no other. Let's talk about the oxtail gnocchi. Oxtail, you sear it, you braise it, you pick it, it's amazing. Baking the potatoes on a bed of salt, keeping them nice and moist. Removing the inside, the beautiful snow white potato meat. Tossing it ever so gently with the flour and the egg. Hand rolled, hand cut. So much time and energy. Gently blanched in nice salty water. We take the oxtail meat, the braising liquid, the gnocchi joins it, we mount it with butter, season it with salt and pepper. Time to plate, parmesan, a little bit of herbs on top with horseradish. A simple dish really. It only took two days and three people to make it. You don't always get the perfect situation where you get to work with your friends, my dear friend, Chef Shane McIntyre, we've been through so much together. It is our dream come true to pull off all of this amazing food with an incredible staff, incredible team. We have a whole group of people that don't wanna just work for a paycheck. They wanna work because they love it and they see the vision. Great food, great atmosphere, and most importantly, building memories.